Hello, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to set up a 2D physics um, game or simulation, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so 2D physics, meaning that we've got 2D objects like this that have like gravity, have solidity, can collide with one another and bounce around and things like that. And so that you can control like everything on screen like I'm doing now. You could make things grow like this. I'm using my hand as though I'm doing this magically. <laughs> there we go. You could um, tap the screen, or uh, I'm using my mouse here, but it will work with touch screen, and then drag things around. Let's just shrink him again. And then, um, and fr he loves being thrown around. Don't worry about him. Throw him around, and things like this. So, so everything you would need, the building blocks for making a game or a demo. And we're going to write it in JavaScript. I'm using the P5JS library for graphics and things like that. But I'm going to show you I'm going to show you a way so you don't need to know anything like that, but you can get started very quickly. And we're just going to make something like a ball bouncing on a on a block just to get us started. So, um so using code pen, if you've never used it before, um all you have to do is write codepen.io or look, search for code pen on Google or something and it will it will um, take you to its home screen, and each of these squares is a is a they call it a pen or a sketch. Basically, it's an individual like demo uh, where you can code in the browser, and it will update live dynamically, and um, you can see your code in action very quickly. So, this is just like the home the home page. You can make yourself an account for free, or you don't even have to make an account, I believe, to to get started. So. Hopefully this would work. If it doesn't, just make yourself an account and and then try it. But it, you might not need to. So go up to the top right and then search. Um, you're going to search for the pen that I had just made. We're going to copy it and then use that file um, because it's got everything connected, all the libraries that you need to get going straight away. So if you put in 2D physics demo, hopefully, aha, this will this will appear. So this is the thing I've programmed. So I just want to say Liam Brumit has coded um the Matter JS physics engine. So this is the real the real programming and the heart of 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 this um project. Um so all the maths and everything is programmed by him, Liam Brunet. It's absolutely fantastic. All I've done is do like a, a container or a wrapper piece of programming so that we can use it more easily. Anyway, so if we select this, it will be delivered to a screen that looks like that. If it doesn't quite look like that, it will be because, I don't know if, I've sorry, I've zoomed in a bit to make things easier. Um, anyway, I was going to say, to the top right, you might see, not settings, but something like environment view or layout or something. And you can change where these panels will be. So it might not look exactly like it. I've got my programming down the left. And I've made sure the JavaScript is kind of like maximized and things. And so you can play around. So what you want to then do is click fork. All that means is it's going to clone or kind of like copy um, this pen. You, you could start programming in here and it would be fine. It won't affect my original file, so don't worry. But um, just for clarity, I'll select fork. And then now this, if you've got an account, that will be copied and cloned to your account. And you can rename it. So we're just going to say something like basic, basic physics, basic physics demo. There we go. And then I'm going to delete everything. It should go white. Nothing should work, but it's still working. <laughs> let's see if I save. Nope. Let's try refreshing. should go white. Nothing should work. Okay, there we go. So there we go. So we've got no pro programming going on, but everything that you need in terms of the physics, the graphics, the input is connected now. It's kind of secretly connected under here. So you don't have to worry about any of that. All the libraries is connected for you. So you can just get going. Okay, and then if you wanted to, you know, to, to, to use this in as, as your own account, you could fork this. As kind of like a template or something. Anyway, so um, we're going to be using the P5 conventions. 
for putting together our graphics and things. So we want a function setup, must be called exactly this. And that's where the program will start, and then our game loop um, will be called draw. That's the P5 convention again. So there we go. That's the first two things you need. Okay, so we need a canvas object. So P5 allows us to say create canvas. You can decide how big it's going to be. I'm going to say 400 by 400. That's 400 pixels across, 400 pixels down. And then you could set what color you would like it. I'm going to say background. Um, now we've got red, green, and blue. This would make it black if it's 0, 0, 0. There we go. It's working. We've got a canvas. Uh, let's make it blue. So red, green, blue. 200. 255 would be maximum. Um, let's have a look at 255. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. So we'll keep him. And my canvas is actually too large for this, for this zoomed in... Um, Resolution that I've got. 200. Okay, I think we can squeeze to 300, can't we? 300 by 300. That'll fit kind of nicely on there. Okay, we'll save that. So now we want physics objects. So we're going to try and create, let's say, a circle in the middle of the screen. So, to do that, in our setup function, we're going to write uh, red hen underscore 2d physics now that just means we're going to um, use the library that I've made it gives us like a key it gives us access to the library I've made and then we're going to say set up matter and that's a function so brackets and then semicolon so that will get things working can't see anything happening yet um, and then a similar thing in function draw you can now copy <laughs> or oh, I couldn't there we go we can now copy red hen 2d physics and just say update objects objects which stands for objects there we go so that means Every time we go around the draw cycle, we're we're um, doing the gravity. We're applying the gravity to objects and everything else. Okay, so let's actually make something. Let's make something. We've done we've done every all, all the major things in our setup function. We've created a canvas, given it a color. We've set up the physics engine, and in the draw loop, we're updating our objects. So we don't really have to understand what they do, um, but it is necessary to have them exactly like that. Okay. Now, um, again, we want to use a two red hen two D physics dot, and to make a new object, you write new obj. Is that right? New obj, and then. Um, as a string, the first argument would be what kind of object you want. So you could put it in circle, and then you tell it where you want it to be. So x and then y coordinate. So let's try and put it in the middle. What was it? Was it 300 by 300? So 150 by 150. <coughs> and then the radius of the circle, I believe. So let's give it 40. There we go. Now. Because we've got update object, our object has um, gravity applied to it. What happens if we comment that out? Do we just get the object? No, we don't even see it. We don't even see it anymore. So we definitely need to update our objects. Now, to get rid of the trail, but keep in mind, if you want a trail, then don't do what I'm about to do. But we need to, again, paint the background, um, the color. Um, that you want. So I'm going to just match what we did in in setup. And in fact, we could comment this out or delete it altogether because it's being painted in the draw loop. We don't really need to do it straight away. Okay, so it'd be nice to have a bit of ground so our ball would actually would actually bounce. 
So again, in setup, we've created the canvas. We've got the physics working. Um, we're updating in draw the physics objects. We're repainting our background so we don't get trail. So underneath where we've created our um, our circle, we could do something very similar. So I'll just type it out. My dragging, my basic dragging and copying and pasting skills are not good here. So red hen. This must be exact. Two D physics. Uh, new object. This time we're going to go for a rectangle, and I'm going to make it a bit lower than the the circle. So maybe right down the bottom, almost down the bottom. So two hundred and two hundred and sixty. No, X first. I want it right in the middle. So one fifty. And then y is 260. Now, for a rectangle, you need the width first and then the height. So if we just put in one number, like 43, we're not going to get our rectangle. It needs two arguments here. So we want the whole length, so that's 300. So it goes the whole way across. And it's 60 away from the bottom, so I don't know, maybe 30 in height. There we go. Did you see? Hopefully you saw that. But we need it to stay still. We don't want gravity to affect it. So we want to make it static, in other words. Static means stationary, still, locked. So how do we get hold of that object that we've just made? So, again, if we write, I'm going to try and copy and paste. Yes. We unlock the Red Hen 2D Physics Library. And let's write... Um, Oh, what's it called? <laughs> Last object created. Last object created. And that's a function. So that function will return the last object that you uh, created. And then I've got another function called make static. And if you ask that to be true, hopefully this will stick our ledge down. Brilliant. <clears throat> now, also, what I've also I've already got turned on is I'll just restart this is the ability to drag objects around. Now you can turn that off, and we might do that in a future video. Notice though, you can't drag the static object. But there we go. We've got started, and I think I might finish the video there because you can already do a lot with this. Um, one thing I'll show. I'll, I'll do that's quite different. Uh, sorry, so that's slightly different. Where you've written setup matter, if you pass in true, then hopefully this will create a ground automatically for you and also window bounds. And this means there's an invisible um, edge um, at the sides and at the top of the window. So that we've done that by passing in true to when we set up matter. If we don't put anything or put false, it defaults to false, meaning there's no window bounds. Also, it paints in a green bottom, uh, which you could cover up if you didn't want it there. But there you go. I'm going to leave that there and save. I'll put a um, I'll put a link to to this code actually, so you don't even have to do the uh, the the, the the search business at the beginning. But there we go. Hope that was helpful and it allow you to get started to make some things. Um, if you do make anything, I'd love for you to link it in the comments below. I'd love to go and have a look at what you've made. That'd be amazing. So, thank you very much. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye from here. <laughs>